Upgrading your laptop's RAM is a pain, but thanks to CAM2, an updated standard recently ratified by JEDEC, that might be about to change. CAM, or the Compression Attached Memory Module, is a memory form factor created by Dell engineer Tom Schnell. You might remember it launching as a proprietary solution in Dell laptops in 2022, replacing the SODIM form factor. SODIM technically stands for Small Outline Dual Inline Memory Module, but it just sounds like we're calling them stupid. And we are. To their credit, DIMMs were a significant upgrade when they started to replace SIMs back in the 1990s. SIM pins could only support 32-bit data, while DIMM pins could manage 64-bit, meaning that a single DIMM could do the job of two SIMs. So DIMM is basically the same thing, just smaller, around half the size, which is why it's primarily used in laptops. Compared to memory soldered to the motherboard, replaceable components like SODIM RAM sticks typically aren't as resistant to accidental jostling, they use more power, and they take up more space. In a portable device, where space is at a premium and cooling is already a problem, this has led to soldered memory becoming the default at the expense of repairability and upgradability. Most users will never open the back end of their device, so many manufacturers have decided that it makes more sense to ensure that it works today rather than it be upgradable in the future. But for those of us who'd rather upgrade a laptop that just needs a bit more RAM rather than buy a whole new machine, it's a big disappointment. So how does CAM2 address those problems? And can it really bring back upgradable laptop RAM? We'll tell you right after we thank Odoo for sponsoring this video. What can Odoo, Odoo, for you? Well, if you're looking for a high quality website for your business, but lack the coding experience to make it happen, look no further than Odoo. Their open source platform is packed with user-friendly drag and drop design elements and features that can help anyone build a gorgeous website. And with Odoo's AI copywriter powered by ChatGPT, writing content for your website has never been easier. Odoo's website e-commerce application is not only 100% free, it also comes with unlimited hosting and they even pay for your custom domain name for the first year. Click the link below and start building your dream website with Odoo. Dell's CAM and the now standardized CAM2 is an attempt to close the gap between replaceable and soldered memory. Looking at the original CAM and SODIM side by side, you're probably gonna notice one big difference right away, the size. The single CAM component is significantly longer and wider, but it's also 57% thinner for an equivalent amount of RAM, shaving off a few millimeters of height and reducing overall volume. CAM and CAM2 can also support up to 128 gigabytes on a single module and have significant improvements over SODIM in terms of airflow. You might wonder why SODIM comes with RAM chips mounted on both sides of the PCB like that if height is such an important factor, but this is actually a way of accommodating yet another technical limitation of the format. SODIM uses an edge connector, which means that traces for the chips nearest to the connector need to zigzag in order to keep them the same length as traces to chips on the far side. That increases both the time it takes the motherboard to communicate with those chips and the risk of signal distortion and crosstalk between circuits. As traces get longer, you need to increase the space between them in order to manage that risk. Therefore, a double-sided PCB is the best way to save space given the other constraints of the design. Even worse, due to these same size constraints and timing issues, the wires from the CPU wind up traveling under the SODIM module and connecting to the far side, leading to a minimum trace length of seven and a half centimeters. CAM and CAM2, on the other hand, use a land grid array connector, similar to a typical CPU. Because it has connecting pins across its rear face rather than on one edge, all the chips are now significantly closer to the connector and the motherboard. Further, CAM2 comes in configurations for two single channels or one dual channel. In part due to this connector change, CAM2 will also need to be screwed down in order to ensure it maintains consistent contact, which has both advantages and disadvantages. It reduces the potential that the component might come unseated due to jostling, but it also adds the need for a screwdriver, like this one from LTTstore.com, <laughs> rather than just easily slotting in like a SODIM. Likewise, depending on the design of their device, some users might need to replace their existing CAM2 with a new one when they want to upgrade, rather than simply buying a second SODIM and plugging it in. Another reason why some companies are pushing for CAM2 now is SODIM actually has a speed cap of around 6,400 megahertz. 
Most mainstream SODIM designs haven't hit this ceiling yet, but it's a future problem that CAM is solving today with a proactive design that places the module in closer contact with the motherboard. On the level of electronics and materials, CAM and SODIM are extremely similar, meaning that they'll likely be similar in terms of price to performance and software interoperability. Now as for power efficiency, the CAM2 standard also comes with both DDR5 and LPDDR5 slash 5X designs, while SODIM is limited to the more power intensive DDR5. In order to prevent anyone from accidentally crossing the streams, which may lead to a total protonic reversal, the slots for DDR5 and LPDDR5 versions of CAM2 will be physically distinct to prevent one from getting plugged into the other. The option of LP DDR5 might mean we'll see more upgradable RAM even in relatively small devices like tablets or single board computers. It's unclear at this point whether CAM2 is truly the default laptop memory format of tomorrow, but thanks to this new ratification by JEDEC, it will likely gain interest and become cheaper over time. Dell is, of course, a major backer of the new standard, but Samsung and Micron also announced plans to incorporate CAM modules in upcoming products, even prior to the ratification of CAM2. Wow, maybe we really are in the best timeline. But one thing's for sure, you are the best viewer for watching all the way to the end. Wow, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. One of those uh, goes with one of those. Check out our other videos, comment below the video suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe and follow TechWiki. <sighs> okay, I made it.